Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, on our way to another warm day, 84 degrees already, you know, and we have a lot of sunshine out there that'll again help to boost our temperatures to a, a warm degree. Uh, 80, uh, our, our dew point value, 74, is a little bit cooler than it was this morning. By cooler, I mean there's a little bit of drying going on in the atmosphere as our temperature rises. I think as we head into the afternoon, it'll feel a little more comfortable perhaps than it did 24 hours ago in terms of feels like temperature and relative humidity and mugginess, uh, I think, will be reduced a little bit this afternoon and over the next several days. So, you know, that, that's a plus. But the air temperatures themselves, 84 degrees currently today, over the next several days, those air temperatures are going to be warmer than average by, you know, three, four, even five degrees in some locations. So uh, a warm period, but a dry period. East wind coming in at about 10 right now. 86 degrees, Wachula 88, Arcadia 87, Mayaka, Northport at 88. Punta Gorda comes in at 88. Representative temperatures North, Parish 85. Same thing in Bradenton, Sarasota 84, 88. And Venice and 87 degrees in Boca Grande. Not a lot of action here on radar. It's a quiet day in terms of any kind of uh, weather events. Won't see a whole lot of rainfall around this afternoon. And winds will be relatively tame. We'll pick up a little bit of a sea breeze today. And that will kind of keep the coastline just a little bit cooler, the immediate coastline, but not much. I mean, with water temperatures still as warm as they are, you're not going to get much cooling. Over on the other coast, a few scattered showers around thanks to that fetch of easterly wind off Atlantic waters, picking up moisture and creating these few showers that are ongoing, but they're not going to make it across the uh, peninsula to us. You want to find the rainfall, you got to go into the uh, areas of Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Kansas, Nebraska, Ohio Valley, seeing some rain showers today, too. In fact, that'll be a bullseye location for the potential of some severe thunderstorms. Um, the standard thunderstorms everywhere else, and really even across a lot of Florida, you're not going to see a whole lot. Potentially a few thunderstorms over on our coast as the easterly wind flow collides with the sea breeze. Otherwise, standard showers over here. This is not to suggest there won't be any rain over on the east coast. In fact, the east coast is a more likely location to see showers, just not thunderstorms. As we head into the next couple of days, we'll watch this low pressure area continue to advance to the east. High pressure remains the dominant weather feature for us. A cold front having drawn down some really significantly cooler air for parts of the front range of the Rockies and the Plain States as well. That will never make it to us, unfortunately. We're still probably another couple of weeks away from seeing a significant cold front through here to kind of shave out some of the humidity around. We continue with a northeasterly wind flow, though, that does draw down some of that drier air and reduce our rain chances for several more days. Mostly sunny skies, very low rain chances, lower humidity. Then a little area of disturbed weather out in Gulf wa Atlantic waters will move a little bit closer to us, this little tropical wave right here, and that will tend to increase our rain chances as we head into the weekend. And with a little additional cloud cover and the cooling rains, our daytime high temperatures will be more average. We'll be closer to what we would expect at this time of year. We have one system that we're continuing to watch. Ophelia, we'll talk about that in the next half hour. It's about 2,000 miles away from us. Again, no threat whatsoever to the United <coughs> States. Northeast wind shifts west at 10 knots. Nice day for boating. Expect to see a light chop on Bay and Inland waters. Several dry but warm days, followed by increasing rain chances and slightly cooler days. Back to you.